Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Hi, this is Terry Vanoy. Today's lesson is graphing linear inequalities. So I want to start with just some basic ideas of what an inequality is and how it is different from an equation. So here we have an equation y equals 3x plus 1. And again, I'm going to assume that you know the basic idea of how to graph an equation, a linear um, equation. And that is that you know that this is the y-intercept, so we know that that line crosses at a positive 1 on the y-axis. And we look at the 3x, and that tells us that the slope is 3 over 1. Okay, we know that that part there is the slope. So from the intercept, we know that we can graph this by going over 1 to the right and up 3. Over 1, up 3. Over 1, up 3, and so on. So now we're going to make this line a graph. And it's very simple. We are going to, let's change the color here, keep that same color that we've got. All right, so we're going to go from here to here and all the way through. And that's what that equation graph looks like. Okay? Now the important point to note here at first is that every single x and y coordinated point there, the coordinates of that line, solve that equation. Okay, So the solution to that equation is every point on the line. Okay, It's only and all about the line. Okay, But what if we change this into an inequality? What's the difference? All right, so y is less than 3x plus 1. Okay. Now we graphed the 3x plus 1 part, which is our blue line, but now it says less than. Okay, and the point is, is the solution set on the line or on one side of the line of the other? Okay, do we shade in this part of the graph down here? Do we shade in this part of the graph up above on that slope? Do we include the points on that line or not? Okay, now there's four cases that this can happen we're going to go less than or equal to we'll go greater than and then we'll go greater than or equal to okay again this is a basics video and I'll get into some specific problems for you to try in my next set of videos alright so on this first one what does that mean Okay. Well, there's three steps to this. First of all, we graph the function part, 3x plus 1, which we have already done, as if it's an equation. That's my blue line. All right. Then I use the symbol itself as a clue to what kind of line it is. All right. If it's less than or if it's greater than without the equals bar underneath, then it is not going to be on the line. It's going to be on one side of the line or another. The solution set of points are not going to be included on the line itself. Okay, So that's going to be a dashed line. And again, I'll show you some examples of that. Alright, dashed for greater than and for less than. So if we have a less than or greater than symbol in our um, inequality that we're solving, then we need to sort of make this line invisible. Okay, And once you draw the line, it's kind of tough to uh, make it invisible. But the point is, we put the line in, and then we either draw it as a dashed line, or here's a nice little shortcut. Just make little hash marks on it. And the point is that we're trying to get the idea that it's an invisible line. Okay, The points on that line don't count. It's going to be on one side of the line or the other. Okay, So we pretend it's sort of an invisible border line. Now to help us figure out what side of the line we're going to shade in, so does the solution set of points rest over here or over here, what we have to do is use a test point. Okay. Now the test point could be anything. I could choose this one right here 
right here, figure out its x and y values, and plug them in and see if they work. Okay, if they work, then I would shade the part that includes that orange dot. It would be this part over here. If that x and y coordinate don't work, then I would shade it on the other side of the line. All right, but let's be smart about it. Do you see a point that would be really easy to check? Yes, now most of the time, if the line doesn't go through the origin, we're going to use the origin. So I'm going to kind of exaggerate my dot so you can see it here. Now, of course, the origin in this case is going to miss that line, so it's going to tell us, do we include the side including the origin or the other side? Now, the origin, of course, is 0, 0. All right, so think about that. The x and the y values are both 0. Okay, now we should be able to do this in our heads. Let's check it out. Let's go with the less than capability here. All right, so is 0 less than 3 times 0 plus 1? Well, 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 on that right side would still be 1. So is 0 less than 1? Is that true? Yes, it's true. So what that's going to mean is that we're going to include the origin as our solution set, and we're going to shade on that side. Okay. Now if we have a highlighter pen, we can do that. Or if you're doing this in pencil and paper, you can just draw a series of lines or even shade it in, however you want to do that. All right. So for that less than symbol, for this inequality that says less than, we graph the line 3x plus 1. We notice that it's just less than in this case, so we make it a hashed line or a dashed or dotted line. The points, solution points, are not on that line, they're on this side of the line in orange. All right, now notice that if we did greater than, we would again check our test point, which is nice conveniently would be 0, 0. And let's test it out. Is 0 greater than 3 times 0 plus 1? Well, do 3 times 0, which of course is 0. 0 plus 1 on the right side would be 1. So is 0 greater than 1? Nope, it is not. So, in this case, the zero, zero point would not work and we have to shade on the other side. All right, so there's three parts to solving and graphing inequalities. Graph the line as if it's an equation, so just ignore the inequality symbol. Use slope, intercept, or the cover-up method if it's standard form. Somehow figure out where the line goes on the graph, and then focus in on the inequality symbol does it include equals or not? If it includes the equal bar, like less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, then the line stays in. It's a regular line. Okay. If it's less than or greater than without the equal bar, then those points on the line can't be included in the solution, and you would make it a dashed line, Okay, symbolizing basically an invisible borderline. And finally, we use a test point which a lot of times is 0, 0. That's the easiest point to test. Or choose something else if the line happens to go through the origin and you figure out do you shade that part with the origin point or not. And it helps you figure out which side to shade. Alright, thanks for watching this basics video and look for other related videos with examples specifically we can look at. Thanks for watching. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. Alright, study hard and take care.